Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the greatest recordings ever. And today we're talking about list. I've done a couple lists in this series. You know, you know, for a, a composer who gets so roundly shat on by everybody, he really has been the object of some of the greatest recordings ever. Absolutely. And I'm happy to promote them because they are wonderful. And this one is particularly so, and interestingly so. The Piano Concertos and Totentons with Alfred Brendel, the London Philharmonic, and Bernard Heitink. Now, this may be a little controversial. I mean, Brendel has his fans. Remember when I did a video called Whatever Happened to Alfred Brendel and talking about how his, his since he's retired, his you know career seems to be he seems to be getting somewhat ignored. I think part of the reason is because he spent his time doing mostly German standard repertoire that everybody else did. So everyone's got their favorite. And sometimes it's Brendel and sometimes it isn't. Some of you rose to his defense and were vociferous in insisting on his supernal greatness. Um, and others of you said he's the dullest thing on the planet. It's fascinating how you could be both, isn't it? I mean, come on, really. But no. One of the interesting things about Brendel, I mean, one of his most interesting things, was the fact that he actually advocated strongly in his career for Liszt. And, you know, it, it, you almost might think it was like a, like, you know, the piano equivalent of porn, you know, because, because it, it, it's, it's, you're supposed to dislike Liszt because he's supposed to be trashy and vulgar and all of that stuff. And sometimes he is, he was, you know, but, but he was a genius. He was an extraordinary genius, an amazing talent. And he wrote so much music, how anybody can generalize about him, not having heard it, and not having had the opportunity to hear it until Leslie Howard did the list thing I have sitting up there on Hyperion. And now Naxos, of course, is doing the complete list as well. Uh, it's an extraordinary legacy. It really is. And Alfred Brendel deserves credit for doing it and for doing it in a way that without diminishing the fun element, and he doesn't, um, also sort of made the case for Liszt to be taken seriously as great music, um, largely because of his association with Schubert and Beethoven and Mozart and all of those folks. So um, he did do quite a bit of Liszt. And the other remarkable thing about it is that Brendel never had a reputation as a, a pyrotechnical pianist, as a virtuoso, obviously, Nobody gets away with playing everything he played without a certain level of technique. And he had that. And I think the excellence of his technique is often, is often dismissed. Um, but, I mean, the evidence is in the recordings. He certainly can play this music. And these piano concertos, I mean, they're fun works, right? They really are. And Bernard Heitink and the London Phil, they're ideal accompanists for Brendel because they're all basically serious guys. You know, they don't... They, I mean, Heitink and, and Brendel never had a reputation as sh showmen, as virtuoso showmen of the podium or of the keyboard. Um, they were always serious, musicianly um, artists who demanded that they be taken seriously and that whatever they played be taken seriously. So you have these two piano concertos, and they're fun. They surprisingly... It, you know, they lack nothing in virtuosity, nothing in wit or point. Um, they're beautifully shaped. They're very musical. They make a lot of sense the way they choose tempos and relate one section to another. Brendel is completely comfortable in the idiom. Where he's supposed to be flashy, he flashes. Um, it's really quite, quite superb for both concertos. But best of all, and that's one of the things that sort of pulled this one over the finish line, the greatest recordings ever is this amazing, absolutely amazing recording of Totentanz. You know, Brendel gets the diablerie in this piece like almost nobody else. He really does. The very end, you know, when the strings are going, and the, and the piano says he's glissandi, like that, just before the end. This is just a tiny moment, but it shows you. Brendel pays special attention to those glissandos, or glissandi, however you want to pluralize it, it doesn't matter. But he really, he, he, he makes them whip cracks, 
dun. You know, most pianists are like dun, 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 whoop, da 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 whoop, da 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 whoop. But Brendel, Brendel, no, Brendel's do 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 whoop, da do 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 whoop, da do 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 whoop. I mean, it's it's almost it's almost painful. I mean, he he gets the point of the whole thing. And it's true of all the variations. They're enormously characterful and just 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 bursting with with invention and 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 character. That's what I mean. Character. I mean, variations are about characterizing each one. That's the, the key. And Brendel does it and he does it beautifully and the accompaniments are fabulous. I mean, Hightick is following him every step of the way. And even the end with its splashy tam-tam crashes, it's just amazing. So, this is it. One of the greatest recordings ever. And all the more surprising because Brendel's not an artist I usually warm to. Um, and, and you wouldn't think that these folks would, would do it, but do what they do. And Heitink, remember, recorded all the list tone poems with the LPO. And that was pretty dull, actually. This is not. So it's a, a wonderful combination on all counts. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.